Hello everybody and welcome to Maths with Miss Bradbury. So this week we are learning all about number bonds to 10. Uh, so that basically means it's a pair or two numbers um, that when you put them together they make the number 10. So today we are going to be looking at 10 in a bed. Do you know that song? There were 10 in the bed and the little one said roll over roll over so they all rolled over and one fell out he gave a little scream and he gave a little shout well today we're going to be looking at 10 in a bed so here we are we've got lots of teddy bears in our bed here haven't we i wonder how many teddy bears there are shall we count them you'll see the numbers appear as we count them let's go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten that's right there are ten bears in the bed the teddy bears have all rolled over and one teddy bear has fallen out of the bed can you see him looks like a panda bear and he's falling out so there are nine teddy bears in the bed and one teddy bear has fallen out which makes 10 teddy bears all together. And here's our number sentence at the bottom to show you. There are nine teddy bears in the bed and one teddy bear has fallen out. Nine plus one equals 10 because all together here we have got 10 teddy bears. Okay, so this is our next one. We've got the teddy bears have rolled over and a t another teddy bear has fallen out of the bed. Okay, so we have 10 in the bed and now we've got one, two. Two of them have fallen out of the bed. Do you know how many might still be in the bed without counting? Two and what make 10? Can you remember? That's right. Two and eight make ten. There are eight teddy bears in the bed and two teddy bears have fallen out. There are ten teddy bears all together in the picture. Here's our number sentence here. So we've got eight teddy bears in the bed plus the two teddy bears that have fallen out makes ten teddy bears all together. Oh wow. The teddy bears have rolled over again and another teddy bear has fallen out of the bed. So how many teddy bears have fallen out of the bed now? One, two, three. Yes, that's right. Three teddy bears have fallen out. How many are in the bed? Can you have a guess without counting? Three and hmm make ten. Three and hmm, make ten. I know, I'm going to use my fingers to help me. I've got ten fingers up because we've got ten teddy bears and three teddy bears have fallen out, haven't they? So put three fingers to sleep or pretend they're little teddy bears and three teddy bears have fallen out of the bed. How many fingers do you have left standing or awake? That's right, seven fingers. So there are seven teddy bears in the bed and three teddy bears have fallen out of the bed. Here's our number sentence. Seven plus or add three equals ten. So seven teddy bears in the bed plus three teddy bears that have fallen out of the bed make ten teddy bears all together in our picture. The teddy bears have rolled over again and another teddy bear has fallen out of the bed. <gasps> How many teddy bears have fallen out What now? One, two, three, four. OK, so we've got ten teddy bears all together. Four have fallen out of the bed. Do you know how many teddy bears are left in the bed? Do you know without counting? So we've got four here. Four and what make ten? Can you think? If you need to count the bears, count them. That's right, there are six teddy bears in the bed and there are four teddy bears that have fallen out. There are ten teddy bears all together in our picture. And here's our number sentence. Six plus four equals ten. Six teddy bears here in bed plus 
four teddy bears that have fallen out makes ten teddy bears all together in the picture. The teddy bears are rolled over and another teddy bear has fallen out of the bed. So we have now got five teddy bears have fallen out. Okay then, so we've got five teddy bears have fallen out. How many teddy bears are left in the bed? Yes, that's right, there are five in the bed and five have fallen out. Which makes ten teddy bears all together. Let's have a look at our number sentence. Five teddy bears in the bed plus, or add, five teddy bears that have fallen out makes ten all together. We've got ten teddy bears but five are in the bed and five have fallen out of the bed. The teddy bears are rolled over again and another teddy bear has fallen out of the bed. So we've now got one, two, three, four, five, six teddy bears have fallen out of the bed. Mm, okay, six have fallen out. Six plus, hmm, make ten. Can you remember? We've been doing this all week, haven't we? Six plus, hmm, makes ten. How many are in the bed? That's right, there are four teddy bears in the bed. Four teddy bears in the bed and six teddy bears have fallen out of the bed. But it still makes ten teddy bears all together. Let's have a look at our number sentence. Four teddies in the bed plus six teddies that have fallen out equals ten teddy bears all together. The teddy bears have rolled over and another teddy bear has fallen out of the bed. Okay, so how many teddy bears have fallen out of the bed? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven teddy bears have fallen out of the bed. So how many teddy bears are left in the bed to make ten all together? Seven plus hmm equals ten. Do you know? Seven plus hmm equals ten. Use your fingers to help you if you'd like to. That's right, there are three teddies in the bed. Three plus seven equals ten. Three teddy bears in the bed plus seven teddy bears that have fallen out equals ten teddy bears all together in our picture. The teddy bears have rolled over again and another teddy bear has fallen out of the bed. How many teddy bears have fallen out now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight teddy bears that have fallen out of the bed. Now we know we've got ten all together. So we've got ten, but eight of them have fallen out. How many are in the bed? Yes, that's right. There are two teddy bears in the bed. And eight teddy bears have fallen out. So there are ten teddy bears all together. Here's our number sentence. Two plus eight equals ten. Two teddy bears in the bed plus eight teddy bears that have fallen out of the bed makes ten teddy bears all together in the picture. The teddy bears have rolled over and another teddy bear has fallen out of bed. Oh, how many teddy bears have fallen out of the bed? Do you think you might be able to guess how many without counting? There are nine teddy bears that have fallen out of the bed. OK, so if we have ten all together, but nine have fallen out, how many are left in the bed? <laughs> yes, that's right. Easy peasy. It's just one. So there is one teddy bear in bed and nine teddy bears have fallen out. There are ten teddy bears all together. Because one plus nine equals ten. One teddy bear in the bed plus nine teddy bears on the floor equals ten teddy bears all together. Well done. Okay, can you have a little go at reading these number bond uh, sentences? And maybe you can show the different ways of making ten with your fingers. What does this say? 
Yes, that's right. 9 plus 1 equals 10. You could maybe show this with your fingers. Or if you've got some objects, you could use some objects to work out these number sentences. OK, what's our next number bond? Can you read it? Let's do it together. 8 plus 2 equals 10. Yes, that's right. Maybe you can work this out using your fingers or have a go with some objects. Let's have a go at the next number sentence. Shall we read that one together? Great. 7 plus 3 equals 10. Now the equals we always put before the answer. So that's letting us know what the answer is. OK, 7 plus 3 equals 10. OK, should we read this number sentence? 6 plus 4 equals 10. Let's have a go at reading this one. Can you do it by yourself? Do you want to have a go? Let's do it together. 5 plus 5 equals 10. And the next one. Do you want to have a go at reading this one? Let's do it together just to check. 4 plus 6 equals 10. Well done. Do you want to have a go at reading this one? Let's do it together. 3 plus 7 equals 10. OK, can you read this one? Well done. 2 plus 8 equals 10. And we've got this last one here. Do you want to have a go at reading that one? Yes, that's right. It's 1 plus 9 equals 10. So well done, everybody. Um, you can have a little go at doing activities by yourself. Um, so if you wanted to, you could get 10 objects and you could draw a big circle on a piece of paper and you then can throw the objects at the circle and see how many have landed outside the circle and how many have landed inside the circle. And then you could write your own number sentence for that. So if, I don't know, if five have fallen outside the circle, you'd write five plus. And then if five have landed in the circle, you'd write five and then equals ten because you've got ten all together. Five plus five equals ten. Collect the objects up and then have another little go and make lots of different number bonds to ten um, just by throwing the objects at the circle and have a go at writing the number sentences as well. Don't forget you can take a photo and send it to the email address so that your teachers can see your work. We'd really like to see it or you can upload it as an observation onto Tapestry. Talk to you soon. Bye.